every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another episode of the Moving series. Let me know down below if you guys are tired of it or if you guys are excited for more content because we definitely have, I want to say, a couple more moving series, and after that, we shall be done. I know I keep saying that, but I promise. It's just, I keep doing a lot of footage in one day, as you guys will see in this video. Hey, I was putting in work, okay? But anyways, this was the next morning after you guys saw that last video and if you haven't seen the moving series please be sure to check it out i will leave like a little link above so you guys can check out all the other videos as well as part of this moving series and i have a bunch of other uh packing slash unpacking videos for other apartments listen i move a lot i know i'm guilty but hey it makes for good context so it's all good it's all good um but yeah check that out if you guys are interested in more of that those kind of videos the way i go about unpacking my apartment is i'm all over the place which i don't see that as a bad thing i kind of just see something and as soon as i see it if it's in my peripheral peripheral view i'm gonna take care of it so if i have to go back and forth to the bathroom back and forth wherever i have to go back and forth like that's fine for me it works better <laughs> Whenever I move into a new space, I always find it fun slash interesting trying to figure out where to put everything that you had previously figured out where everything was. If that makes sense. Maybe I worded it weird, but you, I think you guys get what I'm saying. Like, you have to figure out where you're going to put your plates, your cups, silverware, all that good stuff. Luckily, with this space, obviously, it's bigger. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath, so the kitchen, to me... Personally, I would say it looks smaller, 
the than the last apartment. But honestly, the cabinets there's not much more cabinets, but they're wider. If that makes sense, so that helps with putting more stuff in the cabinets. But as I was putting things down in certain places, I kept going back and moving things and putting them somewhere else, which is okay. There'll be times where you put something somewhere and it'll be perfect. But a lot of times you're going to relocate that item. You know, it just fit and it was fine for that moment. But then you have to move it later on because it just didn't work out, which is fine. That's all part of the process. But anyways, right now I was just washing the curtains for the bathroom. They are white, as you guys can see, and they get water stains, so I decided to wash them. I like to wash the liner and the curtains as well because that just keeps them cleaner. Which reminds me, talking about my shower liner. Remember last time when I moved into my last apartment, I said that I would let you guys know if that shower liner was good or not, waterproof or not, because they all claim to be waterproof. Yes, they're all going to claim that, but it's false. Okay, guys, I have ran through so many shower liners, it's ridiculous. So I was like, listen, I don't care. I went to, was it Bed Bath & Beyond? Yes, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and grabbed one that was on sale. And honestly, if you see this in this new apartment, then you could tell... That it's doing its part. I would have got rid of it if it was otherwise. So it's doing something. It's doing something. I would say it's a 7 out of 10. So that's pretty good. Alright you guys. So I just put the shower curtain up. As you guys can see. I did wash it with bleach and the detergent. So it looks a lot better than what it looked like before. Because it had a, lot of, a couple of yellow stains. But I still want to get a new shower curtain. Obviously, that's not top priority right now, so I haven't taken a shower with no shower curtain, so it needed to be up today. Let's try to organize this bathroom to the best of our ability for now and go from there. So we have hair, nails, and extras. Anything that's extras is extra stuff that maybe came in bulk, you know, bottom multiples, nails, 
self-explanatory hair anything hair hair products hair tools for now i'm adding little touches that i already had in the bathroom prior so it may change but i'm just putting stuff where i can that box that i'm trying to put in there is my medicine cabinet area i have two big bulks of medicine listen as you guys can hear from my voice i'm always snotty so i'm always coughing i'm always sick to be honest with you guys so at this point we have a pharmacy okay we have a pharmacy in the bathroom yes hello my name is sophia <laughs> anyways I just feel like I needed to explain that. Yes, I have a lot of medication, but I'm ready, okay? <laughs> and even with all that medication, I still find I get sick or something. I'm like, I don't have this. So, it's, it's never enough. Alright, y'all. I took a shower, cleared the bathroom, as you guys saw. And I just wanted to give you guys a little update. The Wi-Fi people came, and they were able to install the Wi-Fi box in this room, which is where the bed is and everything. So... That being said, I have decided that I do want the other room to be the bedroom because, like I said, it just makes more sense wall-wise and space-wise for that to be the bedroom and this to be the game room. So, that's going to be fun. We're going to move the bed over there and do all that. So, lots of work. Ty's cooking up some food, so we're going to have our first home meal, per se. He's making some homemade waffles. I'm not sure if... He I think he's making eggs and bacon, so yeah, we'll see that in the next clip. I'm already smelling it. I'm ready. I'm so hungry. It is currently 3.28 p.m. and I haven't ate anything all day, so I'm ready, okay? I'm ready to eat. Oof, when I tell you guys, showing you guys on video does not do justice because oof. Although I already know this meal is smacking, he always, he, he throws it down in the kitchen. I'm not going to lie. He throws it down in the kitchen. Do you guys have a partner that's good at certain type of cooking and then the other one is good at another thing? So I'm good at like, I don't want to say breakfast, but kind of breakfast slash dessert items. Like I, like my French toast, don't play with me. My French toast is it. Uh, my chicken figure tacos, oof, okay, banging. Got a recipe about that also, by the way. Check that out. It's somewhere here on my YouTube channel. I will do a little tab if you want to check it out now. Um, <laughs> now I'm getting sidetracked. But anyways, he's good at more of like... what? Are, uh, what's the word? He's good at making breakfast food as well. But he's more of like a fish person. Like he, he can make really good fish food. This is the new bedroom. I have a lot to do in the closet today. Okay, so Ty finally went in and he brought in the mattress. This is the other room. This previously was the gaming room and now, you know, we just flipped it. So this is the bedroom now and the other room is the gaming room. Uh, as a woman, I could not and will not move any furniture. I will break my back and listen, <laughs> my back is already terrible. I just don't know how single women and just women that live alone do this. I would have to hire somebody. Like, I don't care. I'm going to come out of my pocket for that because I'm not. I can barely move the mattress, y'all. I can barely I can barely lift up that TV, y'all. No, like, no, it's just not happening. I'm paying somebody because that's crazy. Or I'm going to ask a guy friend or something because that's crazy. That's you see that that strength. Men just have way more strength than women. OK, that's a fact. That's a period. That's a fact. <laughs>
so initially I had brought in this piece because I thought I wanted it there but honestly it fit well in the last apartment but in this apartment it didn't go well so I put it in the game room for now I'm probably gonna get rid of it to be honest I don't think I need it anymore the reason why I got that clothing rack is because I didn't have enough space in the last closet but in this closet that shouldn't be a problem hopefully unless I go crazy um so yeah I just decided to put this bench in here instead of which if you guys remember this is where the bench was in the last apartment as well so that worked out well I like to put my purse in here and my work clothes for the next day so I really like this bench it's from Ikea by the way if you guys want to know where anything is from anything that you see in this video or any other video honestly just comment down below I always say I don't bite I really don't just comment down below and I'll do my best to remember and maybe even get you the link so i had stuffed a lot of shoes in here because it was convenient for the move so i was just taking out the shoes my main priority shoes my running shoes all those good shoes and like boots and all that stuff that's for winter and that's why it's under the bed y'all see me y'all see me like a grandma telling you guys my back pain is on 10. I always have back pain, but usually when I'm standing for a long time, which I think that's anybody, if I'm standing for a long time, my back will hurt. So, I needed to do a little 360, a little embarrassing that I showed y'all, but hey, uh, I'm real, I'm not a robot, I'm showing you guys um, how I operate, so I do get tired, okay? I do get tired, but I push through because I'm like, listen, I don't want to wake up to this mess. Let me know if you guys are like me, or you're like, ooh, what happened to my voice? <coughs> or if you're like, eh procrastinate which i do as well i don't judge i i procrastinate as well i procrastinate making the videos sometimes okay <laughs> i'm not gonna lie so i'm not perfect but let me know if you're a person where if you move in you like to get it done right then and there or if you're a person that doesn't mind letting things i don't want to say letting it sit but you know just taking your time with the unpacking because I've told you guys, if it was up to me, I would unpack everything in one day if I could. If I was super woman. But I'm not. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys do. I would love to know. Because I just want to know if I'm crazy or not. This was probably the hardest part of this video. Because I have so many clothes. And it's nice when you have all your clothes hung up. And... You got it all settled and you know where everything is. But putting everything on a hanger? Oh, you know what? You can keep the clothes. You can have the clothes. Uh-uh. <laughs> because this took longer than it should have, guys. I'm literally speeding this footage up to 8x. That's fast. And I still have a lot of footage. Like, this is a lot of footage of me putting clothes in a hanger. That's, that's, that's just too much. Too much. So declutter coming soon maybe i don't know i don't know i don't know because i have a bad habit guys i will get rid of clothes and then go buy some more clothes just because i cleared up the storage like girl relax <laughs>
this is what the closet is looking like and everything is in here and I'm not gonna finish today I'm starting to feel lots of cramping and pain on my legs so I'm gonna be done for today I believe it's currently 8 o'clock right now so I'm actually gonna edit for a little bit and go to sleep because I have work tomorrow but before I do that I did want to touch that and move that somewhere else I know I keep saying I'm done for now, but for real, for real, I'm done for now. <laughs> I'm so tired. I think my feet are swollen, actually. I'm not going to show y'all that, but I'm pretty sure they are. Put this up with a little thumb tag. Hopefully tomorrow after work, if I have some energy, we will keep going with the process. Which I'm sure I will. Honestly, guys, when I move in or out, I'm on drive. Like, I am non-stop, so... I hope you guys are enjoying the move-in series. Tomorrow we go on. Let's call it episode three. That being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.